Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 1969 Super B. It has been rotisserie restored, that's right. It's orange on the bottom too and it's got a 383 under the hood. It is absolutely gorgeous and you're gonna love checking it out. Look at the chrome on the front, the grill, the paint, everything about this car is amazing. And it has got the air grabber on it too. It is an amazing piece, guys. This paint is beautiful, looking sweet. When you look down the side of it, she is straight as an arrow. The painter, the body man, everybody did their job on this one. She is a beauty. Look at the Magnum 500s. I tell you, every one of these cars should have Magnum 500s on them. They're looking sweet. And check out the interior. Yeah, it's a manual transmission too, so you get to shift some gears, make them pipes sing. Those door jams looking sweet. The dash itself looking awesome. The upholstery looking good. Just everything about this car is just beautiful. We got seat belts in the back. Strap those kitties in and head out to the ice cream store. Everything about the car just absolutely beautiful. They have touched everything. They've restored every corner of this car. Look at the faces of the gauges. The steering wheels in beautiful shape. All the chrome looking good. Every finish on this car looking good. That great big long quarter panel. Look at that baby. Love the white tail stripe. The chrome on the back. Man, it's sweet. Now I got one key here, so I should have pretty good luck getting the trunk open. Look at that. Look at that. They even painted the inside of the trunk all up. Now on all muscle cars, first thing you got to do is look at that trunk floor, because everybody knows the trunks leaked in all these cars. That trunk floor is absolutely beautiful. We got the spare, the jack, the lug wrench in there. Very few of these cars have got that. Always check these lips too. Run your finger around there. Everything's nice and smooth. You see in here all nicely painted. All the trim here looking good. Check all those details on every one of the cars you look at. When you look down the side of it, look at that big, long, beautiful car. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this car, so you can bet we've spent the time to check it out before we bought it. Then the first thing we do when we get them here to the shop is we put them up on the lift so we can inspect them. That way Tom can answer every one of your questions when you call at 248-974-9513. Now Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So he can answer any question you have no matter when you're looking at this car. Now if Tom can't answer your questions, I can. You just ask him, he'll call me. I've got about 35 years of experience in the business and I'm using all of that experience every day to help you park your dream in your drive. Right, guys let's take this B for a ride what a sweet restoration everything in this car looks brand new even the gauges usually they're all cloudy and the silver around the gauge is always chipped off this looks awesome four speeds absolutely phenomenal in here just a real beautiful straight driving car no apologies all the margins and everything when you walk around the car look absolutely beautiful. 
couple of the cool things is they added power steering, power disc brakes to make driving even more fun. Remember at Vanguard Motor Sales, we do zero consignment. So every car's here because we want it here. That's why our inventory is absolutely beautiful. Woo! This one gets it. 383, baby. You gotta come out and visit our showroom. We're always uh, welcoming people. We're uh, right outside Metro Detroit. You fly into, right into Detroit Metro Airport. Come and pay us a visit. You'll get a tour of all our beautiful cars and absolutely phenomenal inventory. Even the radio Welcome works in here. Thanks for calling. Unbelievable. You can tell a guy went all the way when he does, even has the original radio working in here. All the glass. Everything looks really nice in here. It's not all scratched up. Just tell the level of quality in this car. We don't get Super Bs in very often. So when we do, you got to jump on them because they go quick. Especially this beautiful orange car. Oops. Drives nice and straight, no pulling and braking. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go back to our shop. We're gonna get it up on the rack for you, show you the undercarriage. A lot of places don't do that. That's the worst problem spot for most of our classics. Um, that's why we buy our own cars, because most of them always have rust and holes in the bottom of them. And uh, at Vanguard, we, we stay away from all that. We only buy beautiful, solid cars. This is our main showroom right here at 15100 Kiel. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to you watching our next video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the underside of the uh, 69 Super B here. Now, starting from the back forward, first thing that really grabs your attention is a polished stainless gas tank. This is not something you often see, and it's really, 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 really pretty, excuse me. A uh, nice weld all the way across it here. Uh, on either side of that, we have a set of a uh, brand new looking exhaust here. On either side of that, we do have a set of looking brand new leaf springs. Um, now, attached to that leaf spring here, we do have a, uh, leaf springs, I should say, a uh, Mopar 8 and 3 quarter rear end here. This is a 489 cast case. Um, now, it's a 323 gear in this thing, and it is a sure grip as well. Um, something that's dampening the ride here, we do have a set of these KYB gas adjust shocks. They have removed the sticker, but uh, judging by what they look like and the fact that they are made in Japan, which is where those are made, I have to say that's what these are. They just beautified them just a little bit. And these things are great shocks, I can tell you from uh, experience. Um, now as far as our brakes go, back here we do have drum brakes on either end of it. We have stainless brake lines leading to either wheel cylinder. We do have stainless braided uh, flex line here, moving into a stainless brake line that goes all the way to the front. Not to mention, you can see the floorboards and all of the frame rails on this car obviously have been painted up beautifully. I mean, it's got all of the factory floor plugs in it. Once again, the car was painted, then all the floor plugs were put in it. This is going to be a rotisserie job. Uh, they don't get it this nice without me having a rotisserie. Another cool thing here, all looks like uh, brand new parking brake cables, a set of Flowmaster mufflers in between the uh, drive shaft here. Looks to be the factory drive shaft just cleaned up. Moving forward of all that, brand new gas line, if I haven't already pointed it out, obviously restored car, no big surprise. Uh, moving forward of all of this stuff here, trans cross member. Uh, for you non-Mopar guys, this is a A833 four-speed. This is the Mopar correct four-speed uh, that this car would have been born with. And this car, I have checked the, uh, the data tag, and this car was born a four-speed. And the really cool thing, there is no VIN stamp on this. However, the Julian date on this transmission does actually come up as being right in the ballpark of when this car was built. But like I said, there's no VIN stamp, so we cannot confirm, nor deny. But very, very cool piece of uh, automotive uh, information for you. Um, big heavy duty uh, inspection cover that these Mopars all were born with. Very, very cool that it's still there. Uh, front suspension obviously look, looks like it's been rebuilt. Um, all I'm seeing Moog, Moog, Moog. So none of this stuff is original. 
uh, but all good stuff and Moog is good parts. Uh, torsion bar front end, just what these things would have been built with. It does have a, a proportioning block over here that's been added to the brakes. Um, moving forward of all of that, uh, front member here all looks like it's in excellent shape. Uh, sway bar looks like it's of course got new bushings. Once again, no big surprise with the car that's been restored to this degree. Um, looking up there, I mean, once again, everything's nothing has been spray bombed over here. We've got uh, steering box over here, nice and clean. All the stuff upside the in, in, excuse me, inside the engine bay up in there. Looking from the bottom side is clean, which means the engine was out, cleaned, assembled, and then put back in, in the car. Once again. The mark of a high quality restoration. Disc brakes on either end over here. Looks like upper and lower ball joints are new. Um, once again, same shocks up here as we had in the back. Looks like they even have uh, plated uh, backing, or I shouldn't say backing plates, dust shields for the disc brakes. Uh, balance panel over here underneath the radiator. Looks like it's in excellent shape. Coming around to the side of the car here. Bumper chrome looks excellent. Even low on the fenders here is a good, and this is a, once again, a good way to tell how nice the body work is and you can see here when you look at a car from the underside and you see and it still looks good it's a good paint job looking up in our wheel wells here you can see paint work continues to look nice even up into the wheel wells they have all the little rubber panels and stuff like that that all should be in the wheel wells on these cars has looks to be all of the rubber panels and close up panels for your alignment once again that's all a hallmark of a nicely restored mopar looking at our paint job all the way down the side here even the underside of this rocker, once again, looks every bit as beautiful down here as it does on the hood. Coming down further, still looking good. Now, if you look up in here, they actually did a pretty nice job making all of this uh, nice and pretty up here in the wheel well, and it actually, they cut it off right at the perfect point back here. You go from undercoat right to paint, beautiful. Now, as far as wheels and tires go, I forgot to give you the size on the front. I'll get that in the engine bay there, but the size is 275-60 R15 back here. Quite a bit more meat than you have in the front. Once again, drum brakes back there, disc brakes in the front. Continuing out all down the side of the car here. Body lines all looking good. Spot welds I can see. Overall, very, very nice uh, restoration quality on this car. Obviously, a, restor or a, excuse me, a rotisserie job. And that all being said, let's go take a look at the big block Mopar under the hood. All right, guys, under the hood here, we do have a 383 big block Mopar. Now, uh, this engine was not actually stamped with a VIN number. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, that could very well mean service block. Um, but uh, the date code does line up to be a 1969 model year engine, which is cool. Now, uh, in between these stock uh, cylinder heads here, we do, it looks like we have a stock intake manifold. And on top of that, we have a Edelbrock uh, 650 CFM four barrel carburetor. Uh, looks like we have a K&N element here in this uh, Mopar air cleaner. Um, looks like they have all the correct hoses, all the correct clamps. Um, looks like a Mopar correct distributor, Mopar wires, I mean a Mopar alternator. They went crazy under here with all the correct parts here. Alternator, or excuse me, alternator. Um, radiator looks to be uh, Mopar correct as well. Looking over here to the side, uh, you heard me talk underneath the car about uh, stainless brake lines. You can see here all the way up to the master cylinder, the brand new master cylinder I should point out. All the stainless brake lines continue. Um, as far as wiring goes here, you can see it looks like they replaced everything in the harness here. You can see we got all of this stuff here, all brand new looking stuff, brand new looking wiper motor, uh, voltage regulator over there once again. I mean, overall, very high quality restoration. Of course, the paintwork up here is going to be nice. If they went to the trouble of making the underside of the car nice, no big surprise that all of your inner fenders and whatnot, all of it looks to be beautiful all throughout here, your firewall as well. Uh, once again, high quality restorations, a lot of the time you see them, they gut the car, paint it, and then assemble it, and that's when you get the, uh, the best result in your restoration. So, that all being said, guys, make sure to call Tom with the number below on that Vanguard Minnesota Park Park Distream near driveway.